So starting the test drive in the Silverado EV. God, dog. So I had it in whatever that wow mode is and what in the world? This thing freaking pulls. I don't know. It didn't feel safe, but <laughs> it sure was fun. That's something else. Now, when you do have the wow mode on, you do get that 754, whatever it is, 785 pound feet of torque. And uh, yeah, I felt that definitely because I drove the Foundation Series Cybertruck. It wasn't the uh, the beast mode when it was just the dual motor setup, and it didn't feel nearly as quick as this just did. But uh, I want to try and do that again. And what's nuts is these are 24 inch wheels, so. <laughs> it's crazy how this thing gets going. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Whoo. Oh my goodness gracious. And it doesn't even feel right because you're having to keep the grip going because it tries to lose you just even if you turn the steering wheel a little bit because I'm in the... Um, the four wheel steering mode, my gosh, but still easy to control, which I appreciate. I didn't feel like, I mean, I trusted the vehicle and maybe I shouldn't have, but I did. So Super Cruise here, it's kind of waking up because it's not in the lane, but Let's see if we can get it going. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's off a little bit, so I have to check that out, but Super Cruise is supposed to just do everything for you and make sure you're good to go in terms of just staying in the lines and so on and so forth. Adaptive Cruise and all that. Now what I do appreciate is the fact that this thing rides so well. You do get the adaptive air suspension and it definitely comes in handy in something that's this size and with the low center of gravity and all that. And it does make this ride, again, very nicely. And that's one of the things that I appreciate about the Silverado EV as opposed to the Cybertruck and even the Hummer EV. This just feels like the more practical choice. Now, with the price tag being almost $100,000, I see why, like, when it, they first showed this, when this truck was released, like, a couple years ago, when they announced it, I should say, and they said that it was gonna be priced like $106,000. I'm thinking, you gotta be crazy. But thinking about what you get here, you have to put it in perspective, right? Cybertruck's going for 94 grand now. And of course, most people are flipping those. I shouldn't say most, but a lot of people are flipping those and they're going for 120, 130 now. When they first, first came out, they were going for like 150, 160. And on these, they're not as coveted and that kind of just shows what's wrong with us as consumers because after driving this, I just feel like this is a better electric truck than the Cybertruck. Yeah, you're not seeing these going for 20, 30 grand over sticker. But you have a range here, EPA estimated with 24 inch wheels, 400 miles on a charge. So I was showing, I think 360 before I drove this and I had two hardcore pulls in the wow mode here and yeah, it really is a big difference the wow mode on is just nuts but still a quick truck just in the normal drive mode but again i just feel like this is a just a better option from a practical standpoint you get super cruise which i just think is a better self-driving software than tesla's even though it did kind of a uh, Show his ugly head there on the interstate. I don't know what's wrong with it because that's never happened to me before in a GM vehicle using Super Cruise. But this is just a really, it's a very, very good truck, I think. Having that mid gate, being able to fold that up or down is a nice touch. And I'm just in awe at all, all that you get here for the same price as Cybertruck. Now, with that being said, this one is for sale at Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro. And if you're looking to get one of these in your area, just go ahead and click on that link down below. Fill out the info, takes a minute or two, and we get the local dealers 
fighting to get you that best price on one of these. And cool thing is, since this is not a Tesla, you could probably get you a deal on one of these if you look hard enough. But very impressive truck in terms of performance and amenities and definitely range. So this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Silverado EV RST.